Next up is Arrow Around. This group has helped younger students increase in sensitivity and awareness of local and worldwide environmental issues. Please welcome Arrow Around. Uh, we are Arrow Around. Our members are Shakira Burks, Samantha Tobias, Sahare Kanti, Florencio Duran, Anita DeWitt, Seri and Serena Shane. Our mentors are Nabila Bed and Nate Nichols. So the problem we recognized was that there was a lack of systems and motivation to recycle in Chicago. So we, we looked at it and we realized, how do we get people to recycle? And we, there were two routes we could have taken. We could take action, or we could have helped motivate, this, motivate people. So we saw that if there was more motivation to recycle, there, it would, there would be a higher likelihood of recycling actually happening. Project summary. The first step was setting up a relationship with the school. We decided to implement our program into South Loop Elementary School and work with third graders. There was no budget because we used all recycled materials. We had three sessions. The first one was the lay of the land. We introduced what we wanted to do with the kids. We asked them what they knew and what they wanted to know. Next, we had an interactive project and we let them make paper, which was a simple 10-step pro process where they cut up old, old paper, old homework, which they were excited about. Then they, <laughs> they blended it. They poured it in water, strained it, and let it dry. In our last session, we let them see their creation. And then they created art with it. Um, we also had um, them tell what they liked about our, our um, program. So some challenges we encountered while uh, uh, running this project were organization. We, um, we had multiple lesson plans ready, but we had trouble figuring out which week we would do them, who would, who would run them, who had which role. And then at the very beginning of, of uh, the, the inception of this program, we split up into two groups. There was error around project action and error around project motivation. So we, re so we ended up combining groups later. Uh, another problem we had were communication. It was hard. Uh, coming together and having meetings. S because some people live in Indiana, some people live in the city, it's hard to get together. Uh, another problem we had was classroom management. Um, the kids were very energetic. So, <laughs> finding the middle ground between having fun and them keeping uh, on track was very difficult. But in the end, we had a fun uh, experience. Our successes and impacts. To start the whole program, we gave an oral survey, which I mentioned earlier, how we asked what they wanted to know and what they already knew. Um, during, the, uh, during the program, we had an increased student excitement. So the second time we came, everybody pretty much knew our names. We were like, hey, what are we doing today? And it was, you could tell that they wanted to be there. Um, the students were able to tell us about what they learned at the last session. And then we had some quotes from the students just to see what they thought. And they said they learned the three R's. A student said, I learned that recycling makes the world a better place. And one had a very total different um, point of view from everyone else. And she said, I learned how to have fun with people I don't know, which was something we weren't trying to have happen, but we're glad that it did. Lessons, reflections, and next steps. Um, we gained interaction skills. I mean. It's not that often that you go somewhere you haven't been before, interact with a lot of little kids, and get to know what happens during their day. Um, running the class was really hard, but it was actually fun at the same time. Actually getting to tell somebody else what to do instead of being told what to do. <laughs> um, at the end, since everybody made um, connections with their lives, and because making paper, they all had something to take home to their families and enjoy to do. We had students talk about, well, I'm going to do this at home, but I don't think parents would agree. Um, and moving ahead, since we had our challenges, our next step is to tackle them, to fix them. We would like to have better communication and project organization. 
We would like. We would like to thank Nate and Nabil, Maria and Connie, and our students from South Loop Elementary School. <laughs>